Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk Wild Presents The Vet Tech Chronicles. I am your girl Tay here. And um, basically we are on episode three. If you guys uh, haven't seen the other episodes, make sure you watch it after this one, okay? If you're already um, expecting a first day of training, then this will really uh, help you guys out with what you may experience wow training okay so follow me on all social media at let's talk wild follow me on twitch youtube all that good stuff and um let's jump right into it okay so this is uh the vet tech chronicles episode three your first day okay and we're gonna dig into uh kennel work uh hazing and earn between hazing and earning your stripes okay knowing the difference okay so, uh, show up on time, unless told otherwise, because sometimes you just have that one co-worker that might be in charge of training, but they are always late. So, you know, may, one of your senior technicians may say, oh, well, come in tomorrow for training, but so-and-so is going to be here. So maybe come 10 minutes after because she's always late or he's always late. So, uh, show up on time unless, you know, they've told you otherwise. Ask questions from different technicians. Don't bother the doctors much with questions. They have a lot of other stuff that they need to deal with than answering, you know, new higher questions. Okay. That's what your uh, training tech is there for that is what the senior techs are there for you know ask some questions ask different technicians different stuff uh you know it's is always good to learn from everyone especially if they've been in the field for a very long time so yeah write stuff down and carry a notepad you know some hires just can't retain certain stuff so if you gotta study it and, and this is what you want to do then make sure you carry a notepad to write stuff down and sometimes especially if you're new to the field compete completely don't know anything a lot of hospitals give you like a, a book or like um just print you out some information about you know stuff that you're going to need to know uh, it's it's simple when it comes down to like appointments and stuff. Um, when you get to surgery, that's something totally different. But yeah, make sure you write stuff down. Uh, kennel work. So most hospitals, a lot of hospitals have kennels, and we're gonna really dive into the into that this episode. Okay, so uh, dogs that are boarding, um, some of them are not trained so they may not know commands like sit or stay and you know they may not listen to you at all i don't want you guys to think that these dogs uh are all well behaved because they're not and that's just the facts uh what it you know that's just the facts okay uh they may be sweethearts but you know once they're on a leash and you take them outside they can be complete maniacs. So you have to have proper uh, walking. People think this, oh, just walking a dog is easy. It's some, it, sometimes it's not easy, especially when it's uh, a big old Rottweiler or a Mastiff that is untrained. It's a lot. And you got a 125 pound uh, technician, okay? Uh, if they're not trained, it, it takes... A lot of patience, patience uh, from a vet tech to, you know, handle these animals. And um, that's uh, another thing that I want to say. We're just not we're just not technicians. We do so much more. We're trainers. We're training these dogs that's coming in. I know I am, and I know a lot of technicians that I've seen have we sit there, these dogs come in untrained. Nobody wants to take the time to train them or put them in a facility where they can tr get trained and we are training them when we take them outside where I'm telling them to heal making sure they don't pull on the leash you know stuff like that so we we do so much we do so much and um shout out to the vet techs and the kennel techs okay 
um, walk dogs on a short leash, okay? If you give too much leeway, uh, if they dart away, the you might not have a good grip, even though you need to make sure you have a good grip, but you don't want them to just dart dart away and then you know be pulling you and then they might you might fall or and they start dragging you through the the poopy grass honey no that's that's not what you want so uh make sure you have them on a nice short leash so they won't slip away okay don't approach other people that may be walking with their dogs uh don't walk close to a road with busy traffic. I see a lot of people do this like it's normal. And it's like, um, you guys know that ca cars skip cur curbs and sidewalks. And then the way that you're walking, you're walking with the dog closer to the side where the cars are coming. You're, the dog should be walking on the grass side period but i'm just i'm not into walking dogs close to busy streets i'm not into it because anything can freaking happen somebody could slam on their bricks right there and it could it's a lot you know the dog might see another dog across the way and might want to try to dart out in the street and you got these busy cars coming so guys try to stay away from busy roads in the street when you're um walking the dogs okay i know like a lot of like hospitals have like grassy areas and stuff so you know it shouldn't be just and it and if it is just sidewalk or ground usually it's like a parking lot or something but it's usually like a grass patch or something so but try to stay away from busy roads if your uh, facility doesn't uh you know have a place for you guys to walk the dogs regardless try to stay away from the streets it's just it's not safe and my I, my anxiety goes up i'm like please uh, -uh we're not even going over there in that direction mm -mm. no streets okay don't let anyone approach or touch the dogs it's a lot of people that's why oh look at the puppy like stop this is not your animal you do not have the right to allow any stranger to touch uh this patient or this border period do not let nobody walk up to you and or touch the the dogs period and that's just there is is nothing else to really get around that okay keep your eyes on the dog at all times pay attention to urine and stool color any blood or diarrhea seen needs to be reported to your senior technician or the technician that's training you uh yes be on the lookout for that because uh some animals may develop certain issues while boarding or they may be already in the hospital for um some type of sickness and they need to be monitored so Make sure you guys are paying attention to that. And when you see something, say something. Don't wait because that can lead that whatever it could be, it could lead to other serious issues, uh, meaning the owner will have to pay more money. And I'm not into making owners spend more than what they need to. OK, uh, and I'm also into making sure that these animals uh, get the the treatment that they need so they won't be in pain. OK we're responsible for them you need to be paying attention so uh for the cats uh you basically just clean their kennels move them to another clean kennel if you have space make sure they have clean water and a new litter pan with fresh litter your tech will teach you how to feed according to your facilities guidelines and according to each patient and um borders diet okay no food and water for patients that are getting surgery or if it's noted not to give them anything so it's npo nothing by mouth okay your technician will teach you how to properly properly medicate patients and borders some techniques include pill pockets pill guns or putting the pills in soft food okay uh read and double check animal boarding sheets Always double check what type of food and amount of medication uh, should be given at all times. Always double check. Always double check. Always double check. Check. You know, I've dropped the ball 
not that often, not that often. I can I can count on one one hand, but make sure uh you're always double checking medications when medication is given. Uh is really uh very important, okay? So yeah, so I out of eleven years, less than five instances, I could probably say three. I could say three. I can probably say two. Two instances where, you know, I dropped the ball on giving something at when I was supposed to. And I'm glad it was like minor. It wasn't nothing serious. But if, you know, you really have to pay attention because certain animals need certain medication um, really at a certain time. Okay. So. But that was like later on down the line when I was just like stressed and I was just like over it. And my head wasn't all the way into it. And I would just, it was like I, I was a zombie at work at times because I was enduring so much stuff and going through so much stuff mentally working there. It, it is like I was, I don't know, yo, I was just a floating technician that was trying not to cry in the bathroom or cry before. Uh, I walked in to see my next appointment. Like, it was a lot, but we'll get into that in future episodes. So, follow me on all social media at Let's Talk Wild to keep up to date on everything. We are here on Twitch every Friday for the Vet Tech Chronicles. So, and if um, you're watching on YouTube, you it gets uploaded on Saturday. So, live on Twitch on Friday, and you can just rewatch it, you know, on Saturday, okay? Uh, the difference between hazing and earning your stripes, okay? So, there are a lot of mean techs out there and they take their unhappiness out on the staff. Not just not new hires, just the staff in general, okay? And sometimes they've been pushed to their limits and, and you know, they sometimes they don't mean to take it out on you, but sometimes they do and they're being mean and they know what they're doing, you know. Like I told you guys in the first episode uh, about my first practice about the girl was unhappy about not getting a raise and, you know, she was taking it out on me and, you know, she would work, she, no, let me rephrase that. I would be working and she literally would be making um, puppy packs and kitten packs all day long while I was doing work. I would try to ask her questions. She used to get smart with me, give me attitude. Like this girl was really mean to me. And this was my first practice and I wasn't trying to like come off like how I can really be like. Like, I'm just trying to do what I've always wanted to do. And I, I'm new to this. And you're just being a cunt because this man wouldn't give you a raise. I don't have nothing to do with that, mama. Don't try to take that out on staff and everybody else or the new hire. Because instead of giving you a raise, he hired somebody else. And every day it was the same thing. If he don't give me my raise, he don't give me my raise. And being mean to me, she even went out of her way to try to make up this phony. I don't know if it was phony or not, but I, I mean, I'm a spooky child. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm all into the witchy vibes and all that. I'm all that. So I'm a Halloween baby. Like I'm, you can't spook me by telling me, oh yeah, you got to walk the dog all the way around the neighborhood. And it's a house uh, where she like, she that gave me this vet tech folk tale or something like the house uh around the corner uh people disappear and all that and I would just walk the dogs around it like girl you is I'm not scared of that girl they better be scared of me ain't nobody scared of walking past this house with this dog do you see this dog that I, I'm walking with they're gonna be scared of me. Like I'm whole, I'm wa walking with a whole Rottweiler. What are you talking about? Me and this Rottweiler will bank this person out here and get out of there. We'd be both gone. Me and the dog. I wouldn't let him go. But we would like I would let him bite somebody and we would be fighting back, honey. And we be we will escape. Okay. But she tries to make up this like. She just did just so much mean stuff, y'all. She was so mean. And the thing about me is I don't like bullies. I don't like bullies. If you guys want to hear about my childhood, you know, 
my personal life uh go to let's talk wow is on wordpress and you know it should be linked on my twitch but you guys could click it um or you could go to follow the link to my instagram play page to my link tree the link is in the bio uh but yeah i would like I don't like bullies and the way I learned like growing up being bullied, the way to shut bullies up and to get bullies to stop and picking with me was to fight. And that's what I did. I fought and fought and fought. I just one day at elementary school, I snapped and that that's when the fight and take, you know, it came out of me because I, I, I just reached my boiling point. So I have a low tolerance for bullies in high school. I've, you know, seen people getting bullied in in the hallways and I would stop it. Like I would like step to the person like, what's good? Like leave the person alone. Like he doesn't mess with anybody. He be in class. He be minding his business. You know, people would back down because they ain't want no, you know, they ain't want to rump with me. But, you know, it's just, I just don't like it because I, I know what it feels like. So to sit here and this be my first time. And I'm thinking this is just going to be peaches and cream and had his girl really tear me down because she was mad at him was ridiculous. And to make it even worse, she was a black woman. And it's like, sis, yes, get your raise. Advoca I advocate for you to get a raise, ma. But you are taking your anger out on the wrong person. And to be quite honest, I really wanted her to like really, really take it there because I it started to get to the point like I started, you know, getting smart back with her. Like, shorty, you don't even know me for real. Like, you ain't going to keep cracking slick. And that's what a lot of them uh, technicians do. And a lot of technicians uh, do that to black women. And then when we defend ourselves, it's you're the angry black woman. No, I'm defending myself because you consistently keep nitpicking and saying stuff. But in this, that has happened as well. But in this case, it was a black woman. And she just, I was like, really like taken aback. I was just really like, this is ridiculous. Like, I have not done anything to you. But sis, if you keep playing with me, I'm going to really really show you what I'm really about like sis don't let the anime the glasses the earth the yoga the crystals uh, uh the moon water and all of that stuff that I love and Pokemon and the nerd stuff and the raven don't ever get it twisted I'm really with the shits I really am I really am and I really wanted her to like really take it there but she didn't want to take it there but um y'all don't take it there Y'all don't take it there. If somebody is being mean to you, um, you can, I, I, they seen what was happening. Like it wasn't, I, I couldn't, I wasn't going to go to the manager and say, oh, uh, the office manager and, and say, oh, well, she's doing this. They seen what was going on. They seen, it was like, everybody turned their back. Like nobody was going to say anything. Like, and that's what a lot of uh, the head technicians, they get beside themselves sometimes and they be talking to people reckless. I'm trying to tell y'all, be ready for some of them to talk to you sideways. I'm trying to tell you now, and that's a, a, a big problem for a lot of black female technicians. Uh, we don't take, we don't stand for it, period. We don't stand for it. We don't. We don't, we don't, um, the disrespect, we don't stand for it. And then, like I said, when we speak up is you're the angry black woman, nobody's doing nothing to you. And you know, they try to start framing you and nitpicking with you even more. And it's ridiculous. Okay. Um, so you just gotta, you know, pay attention to that and, um, just don't, if you really, want to be in the field don't crack don't break don't let anybody um bring you out your character uh stay on your course you know uh and i and i did stay on my course because i really i really could have like um caught her when she was getting in her car but i didn't because i was like i don't want to go back to the hood i don't like i already have wasted enough time running the streets doing this like this is what I always wanted to do and I'm I'm gonna well one of the main things that I've always wanted to do and 
I'm going chasing and I'm just this girl just keep nitpicking with me and I'm I'm not even gonna let her break me yo I'm not even and I'm so proud of myself y'all because I y'all don't even know I, I how much I thought about you know staking out on her I was on that type of time but it was just like don't do that Tay don't do that this is what you've been wanting to do you finally got your foot in the door just you know, if she gets smart with you, just get smart with her back. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was fighting back with my words instead of me, you know, putting my hands on her like what I really wanted to do. I don't like bullies. I've been bullied. Like I said, I, I don't like it. So it just really bothered me. And it bothers me when I see other people uh, do it to new hires. It really annoys me. Uh, so, you know, don't be mean to them. Now hazing okay is different from you know earning and stripes so technically what she was doing was hazing being you know a evil wench uh but earning your stripes of uh, i've heard you know some new hires say oh well uh this technician sitting down this technician's not doing anything what's this first of all stop worrying about what the senior techs are doing worry about yourself you know, they're asking why they have to clean the bathroom and clean the tables and might have to clean walls, you know, blood and stuff splash on the walls and stuff. You, It's a lot of, you know, cleaning that has to be done to keep the hospital in order. Uh, but a cleaning is totally different from being a handy person and the owner or the doctor asking you to do handiwork. But like I said, we'll talk about that in future episodes. Follow me on all social media and let's talk wild. Give me a thumbs up, a like, a share so y'all can stay up to date on that. Okay, so... You know, uh, this is the stuff that you will have to do. And um, just know those senior techs, when they started, they were doing the same exact, exact thing that you're doing right now. You have to show us that you're serious about this. So if we ask you to go outside and scoop the poop, you do it. Uh, so some girl was like, why, uh, why do I always have to go out there and scoop the poop? Because you're new and that's what you need to do. Like, don't like. You can't come in, come in there and expect that you're going to be doing technician stuff off the, you know, off the bat. It don't work like that. You have to earn your stripes, earn your way up, earn your trust. We have to see how you um, interact with the animals. If you can't walk a dog, we daggone sure ain't going to trust you to freaking restrain a dog. So they can't bite us while we getting blood or while the doctor's getting blood. So no, you have to work your way up. So uh, in some Vet techs, when they work their way up from the kennel, because sometimes, you know, certain hospitals have separate staff. Some vet techs do it all. They're the kennel, the vet techs, all of that. But then some hospitals just have vet techs and kennel techs separate. So, you know, sometimes when you're there, kennel, they start off as kennel techs and they level up to a vet tech. Sometimes they be acting so bougie and like they never worked in a kennel before. And it's ridiculous. I've seen technicians that used to be kennel techs. Uh, just not had helped the kennel techs at all. Uh, if they were really busy, like during the holidays, they would just, you know, act like they ain't know what was going on. Or I've seen technicians like walk past dog kennels and see that it's vomit or see that it's diarrhea and not tell the uh, kennel technicians, don't tell anybody nothing. They just walk past like it's nothing going on. Like, and it's messed up because... No matter your position, when you choose to work in the vet field, in the vet community, vet hospital, shelter, whatever the case may be, uh, you are supposed to help these animals regardless, period. You know, just you can call somebody, get on the phone or go walk to the front and say, hey, guys, uh, the dog in here is sitting in his own vomit. Um, but no, they just walk by, walk by and don't even tell nobody. Um so some of them get beside they self and they level up and they just act like they never was a kennel tech before. And um, they just be acting real bougie and that's annoying as well. So never have that ego, okay? 
Don't get that ego. Your job working in the vet field, no matter the position, is to help your patients, period. That's it. Okay? So, guys, that's it for today. This was a good episode. Um, Give me a thumbs up, a like, a share. If you have any questions, y'all can hit me up on Instagram in a DM. Send me a, a message on Twitch. Uh, leave a comment on YouTube. Y'all already know um, any questions that you guys may have. I'm here to answer them. I'm just, you know, as we go along, I'm, I'm going to give y'all the, you know, the tips and the process, but also add in my own personal stories, you know. So uh, this was episode three, first day uh, for the Vet Tech Chronicles, okay? Uh, follow me on all social media and let's talk about okay i love you guys have a good night i'm ready to go take a shot 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 bye